Like, what weapons we do have only have a couple of ammo on them. So we're kind of forced to just, like, punching things to death. And we don't have Lita. That's another issue. If we had Lita, we would at least have a reasonable out. To at least winning this scenario. But I think we're going to lose here. Let's, let's find out, though. All right. Wow, two weaknesses again, my goodness. Um, I don't like this Grimm's Fairy Tale. It doesn't really do anything. Um, do I need look what I found? It's only helpful in a couple locations, I believe. I think I'm gonna mulligan it. Okay. Okay, it's a little better. All right, let's first action play key ring. Let's second action play the Derringer. Third action move. I think third action move. Part of me wants to stay here. Because if I remember correctly, you have to spawn an, a monster enemy. I yeah, screw it. We'll just move. All right, so we find the, the Tangled Thicket, which actually kind of helps us out. So this location is investigated using combat instead of, instead of our intellect, which is helpful. Okay, so that was our turn. Not very eventful. Go to upkeep, we'll draw a, a scrapper. Okay, that's actually somewhat handy. And we'll advance. Whoa, what the heck just happened? That was weird. Okay, shuffle the encounter, discard pile under the encounter deck and discard cards until you discard a monster enemy. Spawn that enemy at the main path and place a doom on it. There we go. And a doom. Okay. Counter card. A grasping hands. Um. Let's see. So we can... So I think with our turn, we're probably going to investigate move shoot. I think that's probably our turn. So let's just take this on the chin. All else fails. Uh, four versus three. Yeah. Uh, that is currently a minus one. That is a pass. Okay. Uh, right. First action, we're going to use key ring. Pretty sure that's how that works. Yep. All right. So three versus zero. Okay. That's a pass. Grab that clue. Okay. Let's second action move back into the main path and then we'll shoot this ghoul. Uh, two versus three currently. Let's... Uh, I think I'm okay with two versus three. If I fail, I get an additional action, and I get a buff to it. Oh no, excuse me, that's five versus three, I can count. Five versus three. All right, that's a pass. And yeah, we have no other actions, so that's our turn. Uh, Mythos, or upkeep. Ugh. So this is the new weakness that uh, it says after you fail a skill test, you have to take a horror and it costs a double action to get rid of it. I can resign. That's very true. Yep. That's probably what's going to happen. We still passed. Okay. I have to remember that enemies are tougher. I always seem to forget that. 
Oh, and the yellow sign. Test will power four. If you fail, take to horror and search the encounter deck for a madness weakness and draw that card. Oh my god. Okay, let's test 6v4. Uh, 7v4? Yeah, sure. Alright, we pass. I don't want to draw a madness weakness. I'm all set with that. Hey, Vase. Are you at work? Or do you actually have the day off? Considering the time of day, I'm assuming you're at work. Oh, you are off today. Look at you. Oh, it's Wednesday. What am I thinking? I just assumed you had tomorrow off because we had plans. Uh, okay. Three actions. What I want to do is probably get rid of this. And then move. Actually, I think what I want to do is play Scrapper. Okay. Upkeep resource card. Okay, we draw a test of will. Let's... Ah, <laughs> uh, we drew test of will, that's right. Okay. Uh, two doom of five. Counter card is an Acolyte. Uh, we'll spawn him here, I guess. So he's a 4-1-3 enemy. Okay, investigation phase. What do, what do? Uh, let's move here. Uh, we find, find that stupid location. Okay, so we'll move back. We need what? Three clues? Okay, let's move here, I guess. Oh, there we go. We find the cliffside. Two shroud and a single clue. It uses the investigator's agility. That's handy. All right. Uh, upkeep, resource card. Okay, we draw our second copy of a dander. Let's go to Mythos. I don't know why I did that. Uh, four Doom of Five. Oh, and a mysterious chanting. Good thing we have a cultist. Okay. Now we all forgot to kill that dude. So we could just ignore it. That's an option as well. Because it would take our whole turn to get down there. Because we'd have to move, move, and shoot. Or move, move, and fight at a three or a four. Um. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Because we could just investigate here. I think I'm just going to investigate. Uh, 2v4. Ugh, fine. All right, we got an extra action. And let's... Let's use our extra action to investigate again. 2v4. That's currently a zero. That's a pass. Okay. Let's move. Probably afford to take an attack of opportunity, so I'm going to. So we'll move into the unhallowed ground. After we enter this location, we have to test willpower four. If we take it, if we fail, we have to take a damage and a horror. Had I had known that that's the location, I might have actually had gone forward with the plan to move into his location. Let's. Yeah, let's just test it. We can afford it. Yeah, so we take a damage and a horror. Okay. This guy's engaged with us. So 
We're going to take a damage from the Acolyte during the enemy phase, and then upkeep. We draw a dumb luck, okay? Hit those phase. Whoops. Agenda's going to advance because we've got three Doom here. Plus three here. Okay, in player order, each investigator must test willpower six. Each investigator who fails must search the collection for a random basic madness weakness and add it to their hand. Okay, uh, we are not passing that test. No, we are not. Okay. Let's go search. Yeah, I'm sure that's by design. Diana might. Diana Stanley might. But yeah, apart from that, I could see some mystics passing that test. But by and large, I'm pretty sure you don't pass that test. Okay. I guess I'll just draw and see if I get a madness. Uh, yeah, that's a madness weakness. And we are playing campaign mode. Okay, when the game ends, you earn two fewer experience when you deal damage to an enemy. Ex I mean, not the worst madness to draw. Not like we care about experience at this point, so. Yeah, it could be, could be worse. All right, uh, let's draw our encounter card. We draw an Armados Wrath, oh God. All right, test willpower five. For each point you fail by, you must either choose one, choose and discard a card from your hand, or take a damage and a horror. Oh, good God. Okay, let's try to test a will that. Uh, three versus three. Ah, uh, wah, wah. <laughs> All right, so we got to test willpower five, which is not happening. <laughs> we even, God damn it. Why why couldn't we have drawn the, this test? Why do you have to be so cruel to me? It is raining. It's literally raining outside. <laughs> why do you do this to me, game? God damn it. All right, so we only fail by one. Which isn't the worst. We'll just discard this dumb luck, I guess. All right, uh, so now we got this cultist to deal with. And a force route location. Um, this is better than what Jackie did, to be fair. Let's... I guess we'll shoot... Five? Well, okay, so I could... I could just pump resources. Oh, I forgot to do all this. Okay, so if it's Act 1, I have to spawn Mordoth at the ritual site. Good god. <laughs> Dude, penguins, that's the story of my life sometimes, man. I fail tests I want to succeed, I'm succeeding tests I want to fail, I'm drawing the wrong encounter cards and I can't get any clues, but you know, I can't complain. <laughs> It's just a flesh wound. No, it isn't. Your leg's off. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, this is only a three, so. So, actually, I think what I'm going to do is just, just shoot it. 5v3. 
My thinking is that I'm going to use this anyway, so I'll have a free hand slot. So five versus three. All right. Ba bam. Mm. Yeah, it is. Second action, let's investigate. 2v2. Two two. Uh, yeah, I don't have any other decent way of investigating. I wish I could throw Lita to Mordoth. That would be nice. Do I investigate or do I draw a card here? If I draw, I could potentially get some intellect icons to help me test. So cur it'd currently be an even test. I think I'm gonna draw first. All right, we draw, live, and learn. That's that's ideal. All right, let's last action. Try to investigate two v two. All right, we fail, so we'll live and learn. We'll go 4v2, and we get an extra action. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> come on, bag. Why you gotta be like that? All right, last action, draw a card. All right, we draw a second live and learn, just so it can taunt me. All right, we draw the mysterious raven. I think that's gonna be our plan now. All right. Resource or resource card doom, and we draw grasping hands. All right, I think I'm just going to test three v four here. Okay, that's a pass. All right. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's first action Raven. We'll just grab that clue. Okay, do I need to be? No, I don't. I just need to. I feel like at this point is flipping it might flipping it might be a bad idea. Uh let's before we do that, let's move. Three and three, holy shibby. It's got ten health. Uh, blah, blah, blah. uh we'll move, I guess, and then last action. Play the old. Play the old Derringer. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, all uh, right. That's the turn. Yeah, I really should have. I was thinking that too, penguins. Uh, resource card. Okay, we draw a will to survive. Mythos phase. Two doom of five. Wait, am I supposed to have this in play? I think I flubbed this up. I think that's not supposed to be in play. So I think what I'll do is just advance. Mm, wait, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a way I uh I do this. I think at this point, advancing is bad. If I remember correctly, this is what causes all the dudes. Dudes to spawn at this location. And I can't afford to have five enemies spawn to my location currently. Yeah, let's just draw on a counter card. And we draw on Ancient Evils. Okay. Redo a five. 
This is where I'd want like elusive. Be like, see you nerds. Okay. Yeah, because if I if I advance, I'm pretty just pretty sure it's just screwed here. There's no way I'm going to be able to deal with five enemies. I think I just have to let it doom out. I think that makes the most sense. So let's first action draw. Okay, and then second action, third action, we'll do that. Okay, easy turn. Upkeep, resource card. Okay, we draw a second copy of Scrapper. Four Doom of Five, encounter card is an Acolyte. Well, that does my job for me. That's fine with me, personally. Uh, we were going to have to advance anyway. Let's... First action draw. Hey, speaking of oops. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that would be hilarious. I'll save you, master. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to catch catch the mindless mook. All right, so we've got six cards in hand. Let's go to seven. Let's draw, or gain a resource. Okay, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, resource card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, mythos. Oops. We advance. Oops, god damn it. Come on, learn your cameras. There we go, okay. All right, replace the current act and agenda with the Vowered Blow. This card is currently the act, and the agenda of the Mordoth is defeated. Uh, correct. The chainsaw does damage if it misses. So you could, like, in theory, you could miss, deal a damage to your original target, and deal two damage to another enemy. Which is pretty funny. Okay, encounter card. Dissonant voices. That's okay, though. So when this advances, we get to place this location and this location. Okay, let's... Guess we'll move. Okay, at the end of the round, if there are fewer than two clues on it, add two clues per investigator on it. That's fine. I'm just going to put this here for the sake of simplicity. I know technically it's massive. Ugh. Okay, can we kill this thing? Can we kill it in two turns? Oh my god, dude, you guys would be surprised at how many times I get told that in YouTube comments. But like, you know the enemy's massive, right? Like, yes, I know. I put it here for simplicity, so you can see it while I'm attacking it. Okay, so what do, what do? We can... God, it doesn't have retaliate. Stella is certainly the uh, the investigator to make it through the furthest so far, Burtz. Or is that Burtz, 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 Burtz? Do I have to pronounce all four Burtz? Or say all four Burtz? Uh, I guess we're gonna fight. Currently a five, let's go six, seven. Seven v five? Sure. 7v5? Uh, let's 
Let's go A B five. All right, two damage. Okay, take an action. Eight V five. Okay, two more damage. <laughs> God damn it, chat. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. Let's. We're currently five versus five. Let's go six versus five. Let's go seven versus five. Seven versus five. Whew. That's a pass. Okay. Four more damage, chat. I know it's massive. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so we're gonna take three and three. And I don't think any other enemies move, right? No, we just have a cultist. Okay, upkeep, resource, card. Grim's fairy tale, that's not helpful. Uh, I'm assuming you just added Doom regardless, right? The reason why people like to point it out is because I put it in my... I put it on my threat area. He's got 10 total health. So I, I tend to put, like, massive enemies in my threat area because it's easier for me to, like, see what I'm doing when I'm playing tabletop. And, you know, so I don't have to constantly switch cameras to do things. You know, I just put it here. Yeah, I know. And then people, people whine about it. I'm like, try I thought I was doing you a favor. Oh, no, you son of a bitch. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> come on, dude. No. Why do you do this to me? Ah, oh, dude. God damn it. I we can still okay, we can still pull this off though, right? Cuz we can shoot. We could play Will to survive. Huh. God damn. I wish we had like eight more. I wish we had three more resources. If we had three more resources, this would be in the bag. But now I gotta now I gotta figure out how we do this. Actually, I think we need even more resources than that. Okay, so... Is it worth it to try to shoot and fail? Because it doesn't have retaliate. If we shoot and fail... We'd, we'd go, we'd fight again with a six. Uh, well, we can't, we can't really evade it. Evading's not really an option here. Because the Mordoth readies at the end of our turn, so he'd just attack us and kill us during enemy phase. So we, we, we essentially have to find a way to pass the two, these two tests. So, so what I'm thinking, right, is if we spend two actions to fight with the Derringer, we'd go up to a five. 
then we could fail, get a bullet back, go up to a six, spend a resource, go up to a seven. Man, if we just had like one more fight icon, we'd have enough, I think. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, so, yeah. We could deal, we could potentially deal two. We could deal three, de oh my god, we'd be like one point off, yeah. How do I make you a VIP? Uh, I can do that. Yeah, we could move. We could evade and will to survive. That's an option too. I see what you're saying, birds. Like commit this, use will to survive, move, and then try to pass this. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, he would move. He has Hunter. So we'd, ha we'd have to be able to move twice. Which we can do with Frozen and Fear. Because we could evade and move, and then that would be our turn, and then he'd ready and move and kill us. So, yeah, neither of those are options, unfortunately, it looks like. No, uh, I just wish I didn't draw this. If we didn't draw this, we actually had a shot. It was a long shot. Admittedly, but... Yeah, I mean... Right, so if we shoot, if we shoot, it costs two actions. Let's see. If we shoot, fail, live and learn. That actually, hold on. So if we shoot and fail and then play live and learn, we'd get an extra action. We'd go up to eight. Eight damage, potentially, right? We'd get another bullet. And then we could go from there, question mark? Does that work? We'd have to exactly pass the other test, I believe. I think that works, though. So if we fight five versus five here and we fail, I think we actually have to fail this test. And knowing my luck, I'm gonna pass. Because live and learn would allow us to, would allow us to get a free action essentially. Oh my god, that's actually a zero. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> god damn it. No! <laughs> Again, with the stupid trying to fail test that we're... Ah, and we succeed. Oh my god. I think that would have been reasonable, though. Yeah, if we drawn that token, that would have been fine. Ah, dude. God damn it. Right? Because we, if we had failed that... We could have placed an ammo here. We could have done the test again. We would have been at an 8. Or, excuse me, a 7. K. 
Okay, we would have passed that. He would have gone up to eight, and then we could fight again and use will to survive. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> Why? Oh, wait. So, hold on. So we passed that test, right? So he would go up to eight. We'd have one action to punch. Yeah, dude. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> God damn it, man. Why, God, why? Why does this happen to me? Oh, dude, we were close, though, man. If we if we were able to not use a bullet on that uh, other cultist, we could have done. We probably could have done it. Man, that was close though. Literally one point off. Uh, God damn it, man. Guardians of the Abyss? What? So the only other investigator that we haven't played so far is Harvey. Dude, that was rough. God damn it, man. I mean, I'm at least gonna finish the turn out, right? We're gonna play Will to Survive. We're gonna commit this will to survive and spend our last resource on Scrapper. Pushes us just on the threshold to deal 9 out of 10 damage to a Mordoth. Ugh, man. Man, oh man. Okay, so... What do we think about Stella's deck? I think... Overall, the deck's pretty solid. Especially in comparison with a lot of the other starter decks. I think if I was to rank them as a whole so far, I think Stella and Jackie are right around here. Like, they're kind of eking for the top so far. Winifred's probably behind that, and then... Ooh, excuse me. Nathaniel's probably last. Nathaniel just doesn't have a way to generate resource, draw cards, and investigate. There's just, like, too many things that he needs to do. He's so good at punching enemies, but he's so bad at everything else. Which is unfortunate, because he's a cool investigator. <laughs>